rivers one burst at that before it doesn't give it any shipping area so we could go with diamond coast which i think is a bit boring river run and green plains out of those two i like the look of river run more with these little kind of sprawling rivers and stuff i think that looks like a really interesting place to build let's go with it i think that looks like a, a nice area so the city name or i guess really we can give we can actually make a, a, a like a consistent in 
entrance and an exit, like sort of a piece of road. That's really cool. Um, I can't show you right now, but essentially the tiles will be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like a huge area. Sort of you can see where the map like takes us to. It's like insane. So it's going to be really exciting. I think the most viable place for me to start building is probably going to be over here somewhere. Uh, let's have a look. Give it those windy sounds. So it's like a one way, as you can see, that's outward traffic and this is inbound traffic. So we need to follow those rules. Um, but in order for us to do that, we need to, let's just pause the game because there's no point in wasting time. We need to put in some decent roads. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a piece of road like that. And then I'm going to delete it because that then gives us access to a lot of stuff that we didn't have access to, as you can see. So I'm going to try to explain things as best as I can as I go. But I'm not going to make it like too uh, basic because that would be kind of boring. Now, currently, we need to think about a couple of different things. We need to think about our um, export of our waste and import of our water. Now, we can put our water tower in for now, uh, which would be good, but uh, it will, it doesn't do like a significant amount. It gives you, it took us 240 a week to keep, and it uh, gives you 60,000 per week. This one gives you double that, uh, and I think the upkeep is the same. Yeah, the upkeep is the same, but it gives you like double the amount of water. So, we're going to probably go with that one and try to do as much wind power as possible as well, because wind is going to be like super useful. But actually, the area that we're in here doesn't have very much good like land for wind, apart from, it looks like this is the only good little bit of land for, for wind, apparently. <laughs> you see how the dark areas give you more uh, megawatts. That's pretty much it, you need to put it on the ones that say 7 for it to be like efficient. Uh, the other thing we could do is build a coal power plant which is like significantly better. Uh, but these could produce like 8 and this produces like 40 so it's a significant amount better but it does produce pollution uh, which wouldn't be super awesome so I'm not sure right now, I'm not sure. I haven't decided. So let's just take come out of that for a minute. And we're going to just design some really basic stuff to begin with. This is my little uh, Twitter dude. It's like um, called Chirper, and he tells you things about what the your residents of the other city are feeling. So that's pretty cool. But in terms of roads, I know that we need to go with like a one-way road systems. And the cool thing as well um, is that you can upgrade these as you go. Believe it or not, uh, it's really really awesome. So I think. If we go for the one way, this one, is that the same thing? I'm just going to have a quick look. No, it would make it go into a larger road, which would be kind of pointless. So that is a, me uh, a, la a large road. So what we need is the one way, mainly like medium road thing, I think. But we don't have access to it, which is just really weird. It's a really weird thing, but you don't, you don't get use these yet, but what we can do is we can um, just go with the one way, small road, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do is we're going to choose some kind of interesting thing. I quite like the idea of putting in one of these bad boys, uh, which you can see is like a little kind of ring road type thing. <laughs> and essentially what you can do is you can put that there. So here, say for example, if I do this, then it would uh, it would connect up a bit strangely, but it would be there, and then the road on the left there would connect directly to the left. So that might be a bit strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with I'm just trying to decide. Um, let's go with making a nice, interesting like bit of road where we kind of go 
go to the left? I guess. Or to the right, what do you think? Let's go with going to the right. The left, sorry, that is the left. And then this one can come down and can go to the right.
sewage pump in. That's like a super important thing. I've got to put it in and right on the edge here because you don't want it to be messing with the, the water too much because it pumps out sewage, as you guys can imagine, and it's super lame. So we'll just put that there and then we're going to put a uh, thingy on the closest bit that we can for six, I guess. Oh, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter too much. It's essentially is a wind turbine just to power this bad boy, so I'd have to put the power line in, like right down to here. It's got its own little dedicated thing. Can we get a six anywhere by connecting this up? No, no, it's just a little bit kind of like out of the way. Oh well, we'll put it like a bit like here. Let's just go with like that's fine. There we go. So that is now powering the little the little area there. And what we're gonna have to do is gonna have to choose some area for wind. We're not gonna I don't think we're actually gonna choose every wind, I think we're gonna go with the coal plant. I think a coal plant's gonna be uh, better, more like a sensible choice of the power here. To start off with anyway, we might be able to change that as we go. Uh, we can tuck this in. Uh, we can't tuck it in on that side because it doesn't fit. But we can tuck it in on the end here, and then we can make this into industrial as well. Uh, and then, actually, I guess the, this will be the same like that. And then the commercial will follow the outside of this as well, like this. There we go. This is actually shaping up to be a really nice area. There we go. Okay, so I've designed the like start of our city. It looks good. It looks good. And we also need to do... So we've put in the sewage output thing, pipe. We now need to do the input pipe as well. Uh, but I think to start off with we're going to have a water tower because um, it's going to be really difficult to not have a water tower to start off with. I'm just going to put it sort of like over towards the this area here. It's going to actually be like quite nice, just tucked in there, because it is the water for the for the area. Uh, right, okay, so we just need to pause the game quickly, because one thing I've just realised is that we haven't actually got this power connecting up properly yet. Uh, so what we'll do, if we have... I'm just going to see how much it will cost to do a power line right down here. It's going to cost like three grand, so now we need to run one just directly from here. Um, okay, let's have it, like, I want to make sure, make sure it connects. It looks like, like, that is connecting, or that is connecting. Well, it's nice, that's not connecting, rather. But that, no, that's how similar it is. So, can we put it there? Is that connected? No, that's still how similar it is. It needs to be here. There we go. So what this essentially has got to do is go all the way across, <laughs> uh, which is super difficult, but it looks like it each needs to be connected one further down than it was again. My god. It needs to be here. Uh, there we go. I'm just trying to look and see where exactly that might end up.
we'll start off with this. Actually, I think what I need to do is I need to design the next part of the road to be able to get some more pipes in. I don't have enough money to do that. Let's just go up to here and then have another one going to there. And then if we then try to the pipes, hopefully you guys will see what I'm trying to do as we go. Not there. Not there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit in between. There. No. There. No. One more. There we go. I think that's, that's enough, I think. I don't know. Maybe it does need to be one less. Let's try. city and if we 
can then we can focus on power to the people how does it work in power grid we do we have a reasonably working power grid don't we oh it's not quite working because it's not connected up to the commercial area that's what they're saying that's fine okay uh, so a lot of these buildings are becoming abandoned unfortunately but that's okay we'll just leave it for now uh, well actually we'll start to start to remove them because it makes other people happier. Uh, so now apparently we are in this bankruptcy area. Uh, but that disables further achievements. Mm, that would be a shame to do that. I'm going to reject it for now and see if we can get the population to the area that we need. The question is whether or not we can actually care of the, uh, the sewage. It looks like maybe that's, that's been our, our failure at this point is purely the amount of sewage that we're like sort of putting in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to keep on top of these abandoned buildings and get people to build new ones as they go. That's a very weird sound, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Okay. That one can go. And these are all abandoned as well. Even though they have power and stuff, I don't know. I guess they don't have water, maybe. It might be that we need to start fresh, but that's okay, we can do that. We have the ability to, uh, to spend the time to do that. No problem at all. But we are still increasing in our numbers in people on the scene in the city. Uh, so we might get there, we might just get there. I don't want this... this uh, bailout option. I want to focus on trying to do it on my own without getting taking a bailout. I want to be able to carry on getting our achievements. If I can, that is. Right, so everyone's still moving in. 384, we're at 400 now. It looks like we're about to hit the 400 mark. If we keep on top of these abandoned buildings, people will stay a bit happier. And hopefully that means they'll Stay here slightly longer. <laughs> that's the that's the theory anyway. Yep, 427. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost home. Come on, come on, guys. You can do this. 408 and 10. Oh, we're st I think we're stagnating a little bit, but there are houses being built. There are houses being built. It's just the sewage that is currently the problem for everybody. We've got some guys here who are, who are doing well, they're, they're fine. We've just dipped under the 400 mark again. Because a couple of people have moved out. Okay, well this is the last chance then. The last chance until we have to uh, admit that it's all over. We are losing them quite quickly. But if we keep on top of it. If we keep on top of it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. 369. I don't think we're keeping on top of it enough. I think the lack of the sewage is like a significant problem for these guys. Yeah, they're not they're very much not happy about this. Okay, well I don't think there's anything I can do about that, so I think we're gonna have to start again from scratch. Didn't take too long to get to this point though. That's just the, the first episode for you guys to see the mistakes that we made. So, let us focus on starting again. Uh, here we go, right, okay, so we're going to quit to the main menu. And we're going to start a new city and do it right this time. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's, uh, I like the River Run area. I think that was a really nice place to, to live in. So we're going to go with the same 